I'm Antonio Sala, and in this video, we'll compare two solvers, ODE45 versus ODE15S, in two setups. One will be a so called stiff system of differential equations in which some time constants, some poles of the linearization, will be much faster than others, and we also will compare them in a non stiff situation. So let's discuss the problem we are going to solve. We will solve a linear problem, but of course, the main ideas here do apply to nonlinear differential equations. But okay, let's keep things simple and let's consider this A matrix, which has three poles at minus 1 and minus 1.5. So this will be not stiff, not compared to our second example. And we will simulate this kind of differential equation in which the derivative will be ax, just the linear one, plus some input, which will be this b of t, some arbitrary things that go up and down. And, you know, I just invented them. There is nothing special about this, but something to plot. Okay, so we will simulate that. And this will be the model expressed in MATLAB code as the differential equation solvers needed. The clock and state vector will be the arguments. So this will be, let's say, the easy problem. All poles are similar and we wish to simulate it from a given initial condition up to a given final time. This will be the initial condition and this will be the final time. We will set some tolerance limits course, the smaller the tolerances, the longest it will take to simulate. So we will now execute and see how the solvers behave. Then OD45 is the first solver that MATLAB recommends as the basic first choice. Okay, try this. And if this doesn't suit you, then try something else. Okay, in this case, it took 29 milliseconds, 5000 points to achieve this accuracy and the sampling period, at least in the initial steps, because it's a variable size uh, integration. So depending on the accuracy, the increment of time between simulation steps will be larger or smaller, you know, depends on how fast things are moving. So it's kind of using eight cents of a second or similar. And in memory requirements, this thing needed to store 5,000 points. Good. If I compare another solver, OD15S, which is for stiff differential equations, but I am using it in a non-stiff situation. Well, at the end, it took 90 something milliseconds instead of 30. So it took like three times longer to execute. And around 5,000 points, so more or less the same. So in this non-stiff case, it seems that ODE for 5 had the winning hand. It got the same thing in less than one third of the time. So this is why MATLAB recommends ODE for 5 for easy problems, non-stiff. Of course, the solvers computed a lot of points to meet the specified tolerance and basically, the resulting solutions are identical. These are the three states of the process, and there is no visible difference between the solution by one solver and the solution by the other solver, because the tolerance were very small. So as I said, in this case, competition was won by ODE45. But let us now consider a stiff problem in which, well, I make this time constant. 30 times faster, and I make this other one 900 times faster. So I have a 1 to 1.5 different in time constant in the previous example, and in here it's more than 1000, the difference between the slow pole in minus 1 and the fastest pole in minus 1350. So now this is a stiff case. Let's see 
how the two solvers behaved. Same initial conditions, same tolerances. Well, in this case, instead of 30 milliseconds, wow, well, it took 1.6 seconds. So it's kind of 50 times longer than before. And instead of 5,000 points, it needed to store in memory 800,000 ones. So it needed almost 200 more points to meet the desired tolerances. However, the OGE solver for stiff systems, bingo, it took basically the same amount of time than in the previous case. I mean, depending on your computer and on random load of the computer, it like, takes more or less, but okay, in this case, it took 81 milliseconds and 4,000 points. So if we compare 81 milliseconds with 1,600 milliseconds, it's kind of abysmal difference. That was regarding time requirements, regarding memory requirements to store the result of the simulation. It's also, you know, from 4,000 to 800,000, it's also a vast difference. So in this problem, ODE15S would be the recommended solver. And in fact, if the time constants were even more different, so I put here 9,000 faster than in the first problem, and I execute, then ODE45 takes now 10 times longer, 16 seconds, and 10 times more points, 8 million points, but ODE15 takes even less, 71 milliseconds now, and again 4,000 points. Of course, as we take as many points as we need to fulfill the tolerances, simulations are identical, but okay, with the wrong solver, we need about 2,000 times more memory to store the simulation result, and we also take 200 times longer. So let us conclude. In this video, we benchmarked OD45 and OD15S in both stiff and non-stiff problems. In non-stiff problems, OD45 was the winner in execution time by a factor of 4, but in stiff problems, OD15S was the winner clearly in a factor of hundreds or, or thousands in memory and execution time. So, for smooth, non-stiff differential equations, OD45 is the try this first recommendation in MATLAB documentation, but for stiff things or more complex models, then maybe, you know, we should think in a different solver. I am not really expert on these subtleties of the solvers, we'll see later on, because, okay, I usually, in my teaching, I just simulate low order systems with controllers with a reasonably fast, but not too fast poles, because if they are too fast, we kind of do model reduction, simplifications. So for low dimensional, simple control problems, in all videos in my channel, I just plug in ODE for five and I'm happy with it. Okay, maybe from now on, maybe I might use ODE15S in some special circumstances, high order stuff. But okay, basically, from a simulation point of view, simulating third, fourth, fifth order control loops is kind of easy task compared to very complex with 10,000 or millions of state variables arising in finite elements, uh, computational fluid dynamics, meteorology. So in this kind of very complex problems, which take hours or days to simulate, it's of paramount importance choosing the correct solver. If you have a very complex simulation problem, just call the experts. I am not the one to be called and let them help you choose in a lot different uh, differential equation solvers in the MATLAB ODE set. They have like ODE45, ODE23, ODE113, ODE78, uh, ODE89, 15 stiff, 23 stiffs, 
23T, 23TB, 15I. So, you know, there are lots of different choices for OD solvers. In easy control stuff, we will just stick to OD45 or maybe OD15S. But when you are simulating the weather in the whole planet, then don't trust me too much and ask the people that really knows about these extreme numerical simulation problems. Okay, I'll finish with this. Thanks for watching.